Good morning and welcome to Bumblebee Junction. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, today it's time to get a few more cucumbers started so we can keep growing cucumbers in these beautiful hanging baskets for all of fall. So, hold on, let me get everything together and I'll be right back. Okay, this is the final big picking on these cucumbers to show you how big they are. Yeah, nice and big. But some of our plants are starting to be about done and we will be putting new plants into the buckets. But just flip around here real quick, show you what I'm talking about. Yeah, it is time to go ahead and reseed these buckets, get a few more plants going in them so we can have some late cucumbers too. But that is where we stand right now. Yeah, lots of giant, wonderful cucumbers. Okay, I am out here on the front porch and I have filled my big tub here with some wonderful vegetable and garden soil. But it's not everything I'm going to put in it. I'm going to add a few handfuls of jugs and get this stirred up. I'm going to get these guys off to a good start. Just going to mix that up really good. Get that dirt softened up. I think that's good and mixed up. Yes, we are playing with dirt on the front porch. Okay. Now, I've got my seeds. And I'm going to handle the packet very carefully because I'm already filthy. But before I get into the seeds, I've got A set of these nice big seed trays. Now a lot of times we get these and keep them when we go to like Lowe's or somewhere and pick up, pick up plants and I don't think I can throw any of these out. So I have a giant stack of them and this is definitely what they are wonderful for. See if I can get more of that up here. And I think that's pretty much up there. The first thing I'm going to do is just get this filled up. Now these are in a big tray that holds water. Now you do want to get these full but you don't want to get them so full that you just wash the dirt out when you water them. And you don't want to pack them too tight either.
I'm excited to get more cucumbers out. <clears throat> be wonderful to have them all the way until frost especially right up here on the porch where we can just walk out and get them Mark has already made some wonderful pickles alrighty guys we're in the house now and uh, Tina has insisted that I make a clip here for the video so this is uh, what happened with part of the cucumbers. These are our uh, refrigerator pickles, so they are going to sit out here for a couple of days and ferment some. But uh, we use, uh, um, well, I could tell you how to make them, but then uh, Tina would have to kill you or something. But no, they're actually, uh, we make a Lithuanian half sour, and uh, they're real good for going in the refrigerator. They taste a lot like a Claussen pickle. But the first thing they have to do is sit out here with all those yummy spices and ferment for a couple of days then we'll uh, tighten them up and get them in the fridge but there's where at least part of your cucumbers went to I'm pretty sure he's going to want to do plenty more okay now I think these are just about where I want them by the time I get the seeds in here they should be packed just enough that the water won't just wash the dirt out I'm going to brush my hands off here. I'm going to put two seeds into each one. And cucumbers don't have to go terribly deep. Just kind of nestle them in there a little bit. I'm putting two seeds in just to ensure that I get enough come up. You're a little less likely to need to replant. Just kind of tuck them in just a little bit. See, by the time you get them tucked in a little bit, then they're plenty low enough to put water in there. But you don't want to pack them too tight either. You want to give them a good opportunity to get their roots down in some softer soil. Now if you're working in your seed packet and you find any kind of seed that seems immature or small or broken, just toss those aside. That one might need just a little bit more dirt. As soon as I get these done, I'm just going to set them on the front steps of the porch out here. That way they'll get plenty of sun, but they'll also be right up here where they're going to be growing and they can start out right where they're going to eventually get planted. Those might need just a little tiny bit more dirt. Oh, 
All right, they're all ready. I'm gonna take them over here. I'm gonna put them on the porch, and yeah, they'll get a lot of good sun in the early morning, and then they'll get a little shade in the afternoon, like the plants up in the pots already get. Hold on, and I'll be right back. Okay, I know it's not terribly exciting. There's nothing going on with them quite yet, but I have them up here on the porch on the step and they'll get lots of good sun here and I think it's about let's see it's about 12 30 so they'll get a little bit more sun and then they'll be shaded for the rest of the afternoon so I'm going to give these guys a few days see how they do and yeah we'll check on them Okay, it's going to take a couple of days for them to come up. Let me check on... It usually says how long, but I don't think... I don't see anything about how long it takes for them to come up, but I'm trying to read fast and... Not sure. Anyway, um, really glad to have those getting started. Um, Really excited to have cucumbers growing all the way into fall. Now, anytime that you see any of your plants starting to fall behind or look like they are spent, that is the perfect time to keep your your harvest and your season going. Just replant them, and that is exactly what we plan to do. But I am going to go ahead and get on out of here. Um, I do need to get a little bit of water on these guys. It is going to take them. A couple of days to really get going. Um, I don't remember exactly the germination and I couldn't find it real quick just trying to read there so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get going. But um, if you're not subscribed to the channel please subscribe. Don't forget to ring that little bell. It'll let you know when I'm out here playing in more dirt even on my porch. Um, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, anything at all in your mind, please leave them in the little box below. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. But, yeah, don't be afraid to, to go ahead and plant something. Extend your growing season. Yeah, it's something we do an awful lot of around here. But I am going to get going. Don't forget we love you, and we'll see you in the next one.